On January 20th, I presented a funding request to the school board of approximately $145.8 million. This represents a little over $3 million in reductions from the current budget. Due to the grim revenue picture in which we have reductions in revenues of all sources, we are making reductions in people, services, and programs. Using feedback from students, parents, and community members, I've identified a total of $5.3 million in cuts over last year's budget. This $5 million is not just a number. It also represents a net loss of 20 positions, putting people in Albemarle County out of work in an already shaky economy. It also represents an increase in class sizes for grades 4 through 12. It represents a 10% across the board reduction in operational expenses for all departments and schools. We also know that we will see deeper cuts in personnel and funding across the board in central office. And we know that for the first time in Albemarle's history, we're proposing a student activities fee for our athletic teams. And we'll be cutting not just coaches, but also freshman teams, teams that offer our young people a chance to play. Some elective classes will be eliminated as a result of these reductions. And funds to support both intervention and enrichment will be, reduction, will be reduced. This would include funding for programs such as Destination Imagination, National History Day, and the Regional Science Fair. We know that this will affect schools, services, programs, and people. All will be impacted in this next school year. You, our parents and community members, will have the chance to review our funding request using the links online. You'll also have an opportunity to voice your opinion at an upcoming public hearing on February the 2nd that will be held at Monticello High School in the auditorium, and again on the evening of February 3rd in our community teletown hall. We want to thank you for your support for Albemarle County Public Schools, and we want you to know that we are one of 15 schools in the state that have been recognized for high performance by the Virginia Board of Education. That performance doesn't happen by chance. It happens because of the partnership that we've had with our community and the support that we've had from you. It's a testament to the work of our young people, as well as our staff, that we've been able to accomplish that. We look forward to hearing from you and hope that you will join us in moving our school division forward, even as we're challenged by this loss of, re of resources. Thank you.